Hi, what's happening, JH Health and Fitness crew? It is James Haskell here, and I'm here to answer your questions. We get loads of questions across our social media, um, on our platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. So I don't want to try and individually ask them because a lot of them will be applicable for all of you. So the first one up is um, on a Facebook message, which is from Adam Stevenson, which says, do you recommend, how many sessions do you recommend doing per week if I've only got two weight sessions and I'm playing rugby and matches in that mix? Well, I only do two sessions a week. I focus on a lower body session because strength um, in your lower body, stability is key. I do a lot of posterior chain work, so hamstrings, glutes, calves, um, as well as big lifts like, um, you know, RDLs, Romanian deadlift and... Um, Back squat and the other session will either be a power session with things like high pulls in it, maybe sled pushes, um, or um, some upper body strength or a little bit of an upper body pump, depending if I want to um, you know, do a bit of hypertrophy because they say, look good, feel good, play good. Um, next one is on uh, a video we did on bench press on YouTube from KSwitch247. Can you make a channel for just rugby because I play at the same position as you? Um, and I need a lot more help and advice. Look, everything we do about uh, JH Health and Fitness is to try and give you guys advice with a rugby uh, twist to it. Obviously, I'm a rugby player first and foremost, so um, a lot of my uh, experience is obviously coming from that. You just need to try and read between the lines, between some of the generic stuff that we want uh, normal members of the public to do and other people who play rugby. But we are going to do more tips. We're going to do all sorts of coaching things. We look at the breakdown work, footwork, all this kind of stuff is coming. I'm just a little bit busy playing rugby myself at the moment to get it all down. Um, question on youtube about barbell returns we did from ollie mason what should i do if i have a normal barbell not an olympic one it's not an issue just make sure that the uh, the bar is stable when it's in the ground and that you'll have to adjust the weight bearing in mind that olympic barbells worth weigh 20 kilos um so you will need to adjust that up if you're used to using that um okay this is an instagram video we did um or an advert for instagram we did on a uh, bench pull um it's from vicky Will uh, willis she says uh, how can you set this exercise up in a standard rack okay it's a little bit tricky if you don't have a specific bench pull machine which a lot of gyms do have or you can't adjust your rack and to put a bench across it then you need to look at things like bent over row single arm row get a normal bench put a um uh, do short and dumbbell row or being very careful, you can raise a normal bench up on three or four plates so it's off the ground. Use dumbbells so you get that full range of motion. Um, an Instagram ab workout from Liam Scott Sullivan. It says, are ab workouts effective in losing stomach fat? Um, not that I'm worried about being fat. I just want that extra I want that extra weight um, removed. I need to be lean and in shape. Okay, listen, ab workouts, I don't do a lot of them because I get a lot of abs uh, work done from the compound lifts. I do the training session. I do squats, you use your abs. Um, you know, bench, you use your abs. High pull, you use your abs. Military pressure, you use your abs. You use your abdominals the whole time. For aesthetics wise, yes, you can do standalone ab sessions. There's loads of them out there. Um, they will help, help shift that fat. They will obviously tone those muscles if you do them properly. However, your diet will make a massive difference to how you lose body fat. So looking at high protein, high fat, diet you know monitoring your carbs up and down obviously this is generic what i'm suggesting you might have specific needs um so the best thing for you to do if you're trying to lose weight is find a good nutritionist find some good advice try it out with your abdominal um, workouts as well as some hip workouts and other weightlifting exercises to try and shift that weight um okay this is a question from instagram about our black friday uh from 08 rshad 08 says can you take more than one hades as a pre-trainer yes you can um, but obviously, try it out um, before just a normal session. If you're doing competition, then don't you know go over the top because we don't want to affect your results. I take two before every time I take to the field with Wasp or any time I play a game. I used to take Red Bull, used to try um, other drinks um, like that and other caffeine supplements. I found that mine was best not because I made it, but because I didn't get the jitters. It gave me focus. I didn't get overexcited. My heart didn't um, race. But you need to make sure you check because people are uh, very different individually. But I, you can take two, uh, but I wouldn't exceed that amount. Um, this is from Twitter, a lady called at Vicky Bronze. After being ill, how long should you give before you resume training? As soon as uh, as better, or do you gen build up with gentle exercise like walking or swimming? All depends on what kind of illness you had. You should always seek a doctor's advice. I'm not an expert on these um, on these things. These are only things that I'm suggesting to experience. But if you're really ill, or you've got chest infection, or any sort of um, thing to do with respiratory you need to ease back into things really gently any other um, ailments any injuries you've had um, you again you need to listen to a, a specific practitioner or your doctor to help you in but don't try and train when you're ill i know it seems a bit like a rocky thing to do but it won't it'll make you more ill um this is from twitter at thomas j crowther 
Uh, at James Body Fire, advice please, James. Training uh, going well, but I cannot shift the love handles. Can you suggest a few exercises? Okay, um, this is going to be diet. This is massively going to be diet. Um, you can't out train um, you know, a poor diet. You need to make sure you get this right. Again, seek some advice, but things like uh, monitoring your carbs, removing all refined uh, rubbish and food, you know, removing sugar, takeaways, all those things will make a difference. Doing two, you know, a couple of hit sessions a week with some hypertrophy weight sessions, which is hypertrophy means time under tension. So you're looking at you know 10 to 12 reps uh, on the concentric phase, three, two, one, maybe one, two up, that kind of stuff, really stressing your muscles. Um, this is a Facebook message from uh, Morgan Priest. Firstly, thanks. I've been using Hades for three weeks and can see the results already. Just wondering what the JH Body Fire opinion is on intimate. Intermediate fasting, I think it's supposed to be. I've been using the 16-8 principle, having one large meal um, to break the fast and one large meal post-workout to end the fast. I've seen great results, but wondering if it's part due to some. I can't understand what you say, but anyway, something to do with intimate, uh, intermittent fasting. Look, I've never tried it myself. I couldn't do it because I'm a professional sportsman. My friend Ben Coomber does a podcast. He talks about lots of different things. One of the things that's been on there before is about intermittent fasting. And look, if you're trying to be an athlete or do any sort of performance, you can't do it. If you're trying it um, with weight programs and your training's adjusted to it, then yes, it will make a difference to you. Um, I personally think that it's not necessarily necessary. Or sorry, not necessarily necessary that you can um, you know eat cleanly, do things properly, i.e., get your carbs and uh, proteins and fats ratios right. Eat three or four to five times a day and still get the same results. But good luck with it. Keep going. Um, this is from Instagram Stinky Bottle. Stinky Bottle. I don't know what the hell it is. Ah, oh, hold on. This is the um, video I did from uh, Ever Pure about horrible shakers. And this is from Graham One O Seven Nine. Jay, whatever. You can only do one exercise for a month. What would it be? Chin ups. I love chin ups. Um, I've hurt my shoulder at the moment, so I can't do too many. But any sort of chin ups, pull ups, underhand grip, overhand grip, neutral. I used to hate them. Now I love them. Uh, that will do for today's video. Got plenty more coming up. If you like this video, then please rate it. If you don't, then comment in the bottom. Rate us. We obviously rate ourselves here at JH Health and Fitness. Give us a thumbs up. See you soon. Look forward to hearing from you. The key points about this sit up are you shouldn't be doing things at 100 miles an hour. If you're lifting weights, you're trying to build muscle, you need to do things with a bit of tension, a bit of resistance.